Hi, and welcome to Three Strength. My name is Earl, and today I hope you're joining me for a quick 30 minute body weight at home lunch break workout. If that's why you're here, that's what we're about to do. Uh, uh, before you get your workout gear on and get ready, do me a favor if you got them, and I really hope you do. If you don't, we'll talk later. Grab yourself a couple books. So, just, just a couple. This is all we need. We're going to be using these for book dips. Uh, I'm assuming most of you guys at home can do book dips and have a book. Obviously, you can do this on a chair or something else, but just like Coach Brandon and I were talking about earlier today, uh, any time that you do those bigger dip motions, it can be tough on your shoulders, and if you already have a pre-existing shoulder issue, uh, it's a little tough. So, with this book dip, it's more anatomically correct for your shoulder. It still works your triceps really, really well, and that's one of the exercises that we're going to be doing today in this body weight workout. So, grab yourself a couple books or just something to elevate your body off the ground for that exercise. Other than that, you don't need any equipment. And if you'll notice when looking at today's workout, there's no real leg exercises. So this won't be one that's gonna kill your heart rate, but at the same time, we just smashed your legs yesterday. So I'm assuming that you guys are probably as sore as I am, so if that's the case, let's get those legs a break, all upper body, and then we'll see how we're feeling tomorrow as we come in a lot earlier. Typically, I do my workout before we have our morning boot camps here. So since we'll be going live stream boot camp at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, I uh, expect to have a body weight live workout somewhere in the vicinity of 6 and 7 a.m. And that's just to make sure that we get both streams out to you guys. So if you have to do the recorded version later, no worries. Just make sure you get that workout in, especially if you happen to skip a couple of days earlier in the week. I, from what I understand, a lot of you guys are tuning in now, really dialing in those workouts. So if you missed a few, be sure to tune in tomorrow for both the 30-minute lunch break live stream. And if you're part of our E3, E3 boot campers or a virtual client, be sure to jump into those live boot camps. Tomorrow's, tomorrow mornings will be at 8. And the last update I want to give you, 7 a.m. Next week, our 6 a.m. is going to be shifting to 7. This is going to help for the trainers that are sacrificing their time to work out with you guys they can come in a little later. Also, we know a lot of you guys don't necessarily have a time that you need to wake up nowadays, so we're gonna move it to the latest morning boot camp time we have available so that it doesn't conflict with any of our live online personal trainings that will be going on between eight and noon. We'd love to bring you something later, but unfortunately we have to dedicate that, that time to those personal training clients, just like we dedicate these times to our boot campers. So, just be on the lookout for that. Any questions, comments, concerns, reach out to us. Um, all the different platforms, DM, comment, let us know what you need, how we can help. So I'm going to throw my work gear on. we got about three minutes left. So get ready, get set. We're going to be working out in just a few.
right, so it's about that time we're about to get started with our workout. We're going to be doing a few different moves, mostly upper body, and we're wrapping things up with a core round of exercises because we know you guys love to work your abs, and we always want you to have a nice, strong core and prevent that lower back pain. So today, I dare say it might be a little easy, but if you don't, if you disagree with me, you can at least say that it's not as cardiovascularly intense as some of our other workouts. Keep in mind, you'll probably hear me say this again and again, but I want to remind anybody who's listening and participating in our live boot camps, we've adjusted next week's time to 7 a.m. instead of 6, and then tomorrow we're going to be doing an 8 a.m. live stream boot camp workout. So just keep that in mind if you're a participant, if you're not. No worries. However, I would look into that because it's a really great resource. We've been having a really good time with some of our boot campers and virtual clients online as they're commenting and engaging with us during these workouts. So let's get warmed up. Since it's upper body, we're going to spend some time there, but we're still going to loosen up the hips and lower body since we're going to be working your core. You're going to be pulling on your hip flexors and things that interact with your legs. So let's get some shoulder circles to go. Five in the reverse and then five in the forward. This one, again, is great because you're rotating through your thoracic spine to get that extra rotation. And so the whole, the whole idea is you're really opening up your chest, your lats, and your middle back. So you're getting a lot more than just your shoulders here. All right, the next move I want you guys to do is you're gonna clasp your hands like this behind your back, and you're pulled back and down so that your, shoulder, that your chest rises up, and then relax. Clasp, pull down, chest up, eyes up, and then relax. You should feel the shoulder blades come together and engage as your chest and shoulders stretch. We're going to do five of these total. Last and down. And then one more. Good. All right, so again, last of hands pulling down, letting everything open up, and also engaging your shoulder blades. So that loosens up your shoulder blades and stretches your chest. All right, so one more thing, just to get a little bit of blood flow to the biceps. We're going to work on external rotation with bicep and tricep activation, meaning you're pin your elbows in your side and give me a uh, body weight curl up, internal rotation, external rotation, pausing for about two, in and down, up, in, out, in, 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 down, relax. So that got a little rotation in the shoulder, but because of the squeezing, the curling, and extending, you're working a little bit of biceps and triceps getting loose at the elbow joint, which you'll need for some of today's exercises. Now the last thing you want to do is warm up your, your hips and hamstrings by getting an extra wide stance, toes pointing forward, and you're driving your hip over. Notice I don't feel very low. It's all about how far over my hip can go so I get a stretch in my inner thigh, and I want to keep my back as straight as I can, even though you can see that my torso rotates. So this is what I want to see from you guys even though I can't see it. But this is what I'd like to see if I could see it. So keep this going, nice and controlled, side to side. We're gonna get 10 reps or 20 seconds, whichever one happens first. So keep driving those hips, stretching your inner thigh as you work. So we're loading the glutes with tension, stretching the inner thigh, articulating the ankle and the knee joint as we shift our weights side to side. All right, so stop there. That should be good enough for a warm-up. Don't forget, start your watches before we get started. So we're about six minutes past the hour, which means we have about 24 minutes to do the workout and the stretches. So let's get that going. Number one and number two are a plank out and a falling plank. So a plank out, we're going to start with 10. We're just going to do one falling plank. Uh, we're going to hopefully get three rounds in. Let's try to do this super fast, back-to-back, -back, bang this out. We should be getting a lot, a lot of bang for your buck specifically in the upper body region. So when you're doing your plank out, be sure to squat down just like anything else. Walk out into a plank, walk back, and back in. Be sure to tense everything up, get that nice tight plank as you do it. So obviously up and down, we're getting the heart rate in, active. You are getting some sneaky legs in there, but you're pretty much walking on your hands, which is why this makes it a nice upper body move. So even though you're really pivoting at the shoulder joint, you're constantly tensing your biceps and triceps and forearms to support your weight as you push through the shoulder joint, which utilizes your chest and your lats. So this is what we're getting done. Be sure to squat up and down so you don't accidentally deadlift with that form and usual lower back. We've got two more, 10 total. 
One more. Awesome. Falling plank. Go right into it. Forearm plank. In over 20 seconds, I want you to fall all the way down. Watch with me. Count with me. Let's go. 20. 17. 16. 14. 13. 10. 7. 6. 5. Four up, still off the ground. Three, two, one. Good. You gotta go that slow with that one to really get your biceps to engage and control you as you're going down. And here's the fun thing. We're gonna go into that right again. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 seconds. We don't necessarily need the 30 seconds, but let's use it right now. As we do more and more, you're gonna need more rest time. Unfortunately, we're gonna try to keep it at 30 so that you're challenged. Remember, outside the comfort zone, especially with body weight. Rest time is so very important. All right, so we've got about 15 seconds left. Let's keep it 10 plank outs for our falling plank. Let's now try five sets of 10 seconds, okay? With the falling plank, you can get up however you want. You don't have to push back up the same way. You just keep yourself up and then start falling again. You want to do this as quickly as you can. Siri says it's game time. Let's go 10 reps of the plank outs. Number one, keep it going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Three, two more. Two. Ooh, that burns a little bit. Now, falling plank, five for 10. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna pop right back up. Five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, last one, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so that one got the devices to try something working for sure. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds in counting. So hopefully you felt the second uh, the second round of the falling plank really should engage the biceps. One of the best ways to do that is get back up the same way that you fell, pop back up. As soon as you do, start falling again. Time under tension. Keep those arms engaged if you can. We're gonna keep the plank out at 10 for time's sake. And let's up our falling plank to 10 for seven seconds. And again, I'm reducing the, the downtime to ensure that you can, you can keep going up and down. You can do this quickly, but also we want to save time. So we've got two other sections of this workout to get through. And another roughly 15 minutes to get it done. Well, and then obviously we've got about 45 minutes of stretching. So let's get that done. Get ready, get set. Let's go plank out first for 10. One, back up, two, keep that going, three, four, five, ah, six, seven, Feeling my arms more and more with each set. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now we're back down. Ten falling planks. Doing it. Ooh, can't breathe. Doing it for ten reps, seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's one. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Again, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more for you to measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And rest 30 seconds. Hey Siri, set a timer for 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds and counting. All right, so three rounds in about seven minutes. We're now going to go through three exercises foot dips, 100 second push up. That one's not as bad as it sounds, don't worry. We'll get to it in a second. And a plank up down. So we're going from plank on your forearms to so plank on your hands. Obviously, extending your arms works your triceps, you know where you're going to feel that. So mostly tricep oriented round. This is where we're going to break out the books, guys. So whatever you got to use, that's what we're going to need. Line these up with your hips. A, it's anatomically correct. B, you can always sit back down, which makes it very safe on the shoulder and also the triceps. And since you can sit down and it is a small range of motion, let's shoot for 20. And then I'll show, I'll show you guys what the 20-second dip is going to be. What's up, man? What's up? Oh, I got some goodies for me? Yeah. Need a signature at all? Hey, did you get my note? All right, so you guys got a little extra rest because our postman brought in a delivery that got mishandled, whatever. He's really cool, though, and I appreciate him doing that for us. I left him a little note in our mailbox. All right, so let's get it going. You can keep a slight bend in your knees, straighten your arms as you work. This is what it should look like. Now, the big common issue with this is you can shrug your shoulders and not bend your elbows, and you'll feel the exact same. So make sure you're focused on driving your elbows back. In fact, I want you to see my profile while I do this. So you can see what knots do. So most people end up doing this, and you you can't feel the difference, especially in round two when you're fatigued. So elbows are back like mine, straighten and down, straighten and down. Let's go for 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, elbows back 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, easy peasy, right? 100 second push up. We're just going to do 10 push up negatives, meaning you're going to do 10 seconds falling down the push up. Now, ladies and gents, anybody can fight gravity, so even if you can't do a full push up, you can lower yourself down in a plank. So that's what we're doing 10 times. I don't care how you get up, just hit that negative with a push up, so, because the negative will get more of your lats, back, and shoulders, and biceps that are typically not as involved in the push up. So if we focus on that, we'll get more of the arms working. And that's kind of the sneaky thing we're doing. We're sneaking in a lot of biceps. Because obviously you can do a lot of tricep body weight, but you can't whenever you're, uh, you can't do biceps the same way. So we're going to try to sneak them in best we can. So 10 reps, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm going to push right back up. You can get up however you want. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you can roll. Yoga push up it however you want to do. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was four. We got six more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Five more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. I kind of botched that one. Ten, nine, go slow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's ten reps. Again, you see me pushing back up like a push up. You don't have to do that. That's not what this is about. Ten seconds down, get up however you need to. Plank up downs. Let's do ten reps. Forearm plank to a hand plank and back down, alternating. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy enough, right? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 30 seconds. So since we've got about 10 minutes together left, even though I had to go talk to the postman, we're actually making really good time. So let's try to get at least two rounds here, if not three. I think three might actually be a possibility. And then we'll get into those abdominal exercises. So grab the books, get the books ready. We're doing those dips again. Again, you saw my profile last time. I'm gonna show you the straight on version. Not that it makes a whole lot of difference. Honestly, the profile probably helps. But focus on elbows back. All right, timer's up. Let's get going. 20 reps again. Ready? Go. 20, 19, elbows back. 18, 17, focus on it. 16, 15, 14, 13, get those elbows back. 12, 11, 10, shoulders back and down, no shrug. 9, 8, no shrugging. 7, 6, 5, elbows only. 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, that burns the second round, doesn't it? Woo! All right. 100 second push up, let's get it going again. 10 seconds down, get up however you need to. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, get up however you need, doesn't have to be a push up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little too fast on that one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One. Again, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. A little faster, we corrected it. Keep it going for five more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keep it up. You got four more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, it burns. Woo! Now it's really, really, really hurting. So this place. If you're getting a little overwhelmed here, feel free to modify it from the knees. So keep it 10 seconds. Let's keep it going for three more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Plank up downs. Let's go 10 reps again. Get it done. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That burns. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 30 seconds. Okay, so we got about five minutes left of workout time. Uh, we can go over that a little bit, but then we're cutting in stretching time, which I'm giving us four minutes to make up the whole 30 minute total. So eight minutes left, nine minutes left on the clock, give or take. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an abbreviated last round of these. Let's do just the book dip. Book dips. we're gonna do a rest pause set of 25 twice, AKA 50. So get your books back out the last set. Make sure they're on either side of your hips. All right, we're going up and down, elbows go back. This one's gonna really hurt, your triceps are tired. 25, take a 10 second break, do 25 more, and then we're on to abs. All right, ready, set, and go. 25, 24, elbows back, 23, 22, 21, 20. Hey, at least it's not the push up. 19, 18, 17, 16, elbows back, shoulders back, 14, 13, don't shrug, 12, 11, keep it going, 10, 9, 8, elbows back, 7, 6, elbows back, 5, 
four, three, two, one. Holy crap, that burns. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Twenty-five more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 elbows back, 17, no shrugging, 18, 19, 20, five more, go, come on, five, four, three, two, elbows back, one, uh, yikes, hey Siri, hey Siri, set the timer for 30 seconds, okay, all right, so that, so our second round of exercises is done, we did an abbreviated third set of rest, pause, book dips, to finish off that round. Now, we're doing a VN, which is different than a V up, a Russian twist, and for Lauren Johnson and some of our other 5 p.m. boot campers, these penguins are for you. So I hope you enjoy them. I'll be sure to tag you in the comments later so you guys can do these yourself. All right, let's go with the VN first. So you're going to sit up, chest up, good posture, lift the heels up, and do a crunch like the halfway point of the sit up over the knee tuck. In and out. Three, we're gonna do 10. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, the more you straighten out, keeping both parts of your body upper and lower off the ground, the harder it is. But you gotta keep your chest up. Same posture is gonna be for Russian twist, but we're going to the heels down so we're not tempted to twist from the lower back. Side to side, we're gonna do 15. One, one, two, two is your count. So I'm on number three. Keep going with you count number four. Five, six, chest up, tight, small range of motion. Eight, nine, ten, we got five more. One, two, chest up, chin up, three, four, five. Oh, that burns. Penguins, because we just got done feeling those obliques. The penguins help. It's basically just a lying side crunch so that your lower back is supported. Less likely to engage, that's why we like these. Honestly, though, they're a little too easy. We're going to do 25. One, one, I want number two, keep going, three, four, you're holding a crunch while you do this, five, if you really have to, support your neck, six, but then you don't know if you're going deep enough from side to side, so do the best you can with that, nine, ten, fifteen more, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, let's freaking burn. All right, we're gonna repeat that 30 second timer. We're at 19 minutes, so that means we got definitely enough time for one more round. We're probably not two if we wanna stretch. All right, so it's hanging there for one more round together. Um, if we have time, Mike sneak in a little bonus. Uh, again, these workouts are taking longer and longer, so either I'm more sore and more tired, or we're riding more challenging workouts, and I hope it's the latter. All right, so in just a second series, you're gonna let me know. We're gonna hop back down, starting with the V in. I'm gonna show you my profile, just in case I miss anything in the description. You can kind of get a better visual of what this should look like. All right, hands are supported by your hip, supporting you by your hips. All right, get ready to get set. We're gonna do 15 this time, make it a little bit harder. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, chest up, chin up, 7, 6, do posture, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Woo. that burns a little bit, alright, heels down for your Russian twist, let's try to get that same V-type posture, chest up, chin up, 2, 2, we're going to keep this one at 15, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten. We got five more. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Get that Ric Flair going, so you know it's good. Penguins are last. Let's rest pause this set. Two sets of twenty-five. Really hammer it home, so that way we can feel good about the stretches that we're about to do next. All right, let's get it going. One, one, two, two, or twenty-five. Three, three, four. Four, we'll take a break at 25 for 10 seconds so that we can do our last set at 25. 
So I'm on 10, keep it going, 11, 12, 13, 14. Keep it going, guys. 15, chest up, down. Good posture, keep it in a crunch. And one more for good measure. 10 second break, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going again, 25, 24. Keep it going, guys. 23, 22, 21, 20. Keep working hard, 19. You feel your neck, support, 18, 17, 16. But if you find your range of motion gets short, go back to your normal version. Just support whenever you need to. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. Oh. So, if you don't know why we call those penguins, if you were to be standing up while you do them, you just look like a penguin waddling around. Okay. That is a wrap. 22 minutes on the workout clock. It's almost 12.30, so let's get in a couple of stretches, and then we'll get you guys out of here. So first we're going to do, let's stretch out your midsection in two different directions. So you're going to do your version of the Cobra, which is you're going to line everything face down, push up as high as you can. If your hips come up, you've probably gone too far, plus it's just a little too much of a stretch. So I can go to about here before I feel my back or my abdomen or my hips come up. So those are three things you want to look for as indicators while you're doing this. All right, so you guys keep holding that. I'm going to show you my profile so you can see about the height that I'm at. That works for me. So it's about right here. Just get a little stretch in the abdomen. Because we, that last set was a burner. Plus, we've done abs five times this week. You've been keeping up with it, so it's a lot of work. All right, next move, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do it with one arm. So you're going to push yourself up and over. Slide yourself with your other arm and kind of look in the direction of your torso so that your spine is somewhat in line. Now again, spine yourself with one arm, so forearm down, and then you're stretching the other side. So this is when we get one of your obliques, which we definitely just tore up a little bit. All right, go ahead and switch to your other side. Spine yourself. All right, last thing we're gonna work on is your triceps and your shoulders. So let's get those going. For triceps, we've done this earlier in the week. Dig your elbow into the ground, pull back. Your head will be up. Spot yourself with your other forearm. If you can, lay your head down on the ground. Also, if you can't, put that on your spotting arm. And then relax your upper arm so that you can really drop down nice and low. As you do this, you should feel either a shoulder, lat, or tricep stretch. Either way, you're weakening all those muscles all at once. Hopefully, you're not eating a bicep cramp because the contraction of your bicep and how active your bicep works without you realizing. All right, switch sides. You guys can see the other side, how it looks. Dig an elbow in, pull it back, spot yourself, support yourself with your arm, relax the upper arm. And then relax further and hold for 20. Uh, gently get out of that position. Next move we're going to do, we're going to do that modified child's pose. One arm though, so support yourself with one arm, do with the other arm, that way you really get the shoulder joint. And at the same time, because of the twist in your core, you should get a little more obliques, which hopefully will help prevent you from being sore. And most people want to get sore on their abs, but honestly, if you're ever too sore in that area, it's a good way to overuse your lower back and throw your lower back out. So we definitely want to prevent that. So one arm way out, other arm spotting, drop it down, Try to relax. So if your torso tilts toward the up arm, just kind of look underneath in that direction to kind of keep the spine in line, although you are going to rest your head on the ground. All right, relax that. Spy yourself with the other arm, other arm out. Drop it down as low as you can go. Try to get your head down where you relax. And hold. Again, if you glance toward the up arm, your spine will be more in line. You also should feel the stretch of the 
Alright, and that takes care of your shoulders. So we stretch your abdomen, your triceps, and your shoulders. Our workout time right now is at 26.30. We didn't start our watch, so we started working out, so we didn't include the warm-up, which is about two to three minutes. So we're right at 30 minutes overall. And so we're gonna wrap it up there for the day. Thank you so much for joining us for this lunch break live stream workout. For more great workouts, visit our Facebook page, E3 Strength, uh, E3 Strength. There you're gonna find all of these workouts. You'll also find some great uh, programs by Coach Heather. And then for those boot campers and virtual clients, you guys are in our E3 Strength boot campers page. Be sure to keep going back there. We're putting out all the workouts there that you see, some digital online interactive workouts that you can click and it'll bring up a video of how to do what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, which saves you time so you can watch all the instructional videos. I know those get a little tedious. So those are there as well. Um, and then remember, don't forget, 7 a.m. Monday through Friday next week, live stream boot camps. And as always, our lunch break, live stream at noon, Monday through Friday. Uh, for questions on the Saturday schedule, it's a little tentative, but know that the live stream boot camp will always be so far <laughs> At 8 a.m. Obviously, we're in a changing world and changing times, so we're trying to change with it. Be sure to keep up with us as we try to keep up with you. Thanks, guys.